Hi everybody, this is Ray Ogilvie in Hartsville, South Carolina. The object we're looking at here is a replica of the fossilized skull of an animal known as a dire wolf. I found the original skull from which this cast was made about 30 years ago in the giant Portland cement quarry in Harleyville, South Carolina. The original was on display at the Smithsonian for a period of time. It has since come home to South Carolina and is now located in the Charleston Museum. The folks at the Smithsonian made the beautiful cast that you see here. I was very pleased to get the cast. I was scared to handle the original because it was so delicate. When I found this it was in about a hundred pieces and it took me a couple of days to get it back together. It was like putting together a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. The dire wolf is very similar to the modern wolf only a little larger. It lived during the last ice age and went extinct shortly after that ice age ended. This particular specimen is between 15,000 and 40,000 years old. It would have been living at a time when mammoth and ground sloths and camels were living in South Carolina. and it would have been preying on these animals. An individual probably could not have brought down one of those large animals by itself, but the dire wolf hunted in packs like modern wolves. Now what's really surprising about finding the wolf skull at that quarry is that that particular quarry is known for its marine fossils. This is what I was looking for on the day I found the wolf skull. This is a Carcaracoles auriculatus or eared white. Auriculatus means ears on the side and refers to the cusplets on either side of the tooth. These sharks lived about 25 to 35 million years ago and are ancestors of the megalodon. These are large shark teeth, but I have some megalodon here also for comparison. Now these are from the Cooper River here in South Carolina and as you can see they're even bigger than the auriculatus. The auriculatus would have gotten up to 40 feet long but the megalodon may have gotten as large as 60 feet. and probably would have been able to have swallowed a small car. Both of these species of shark preyed on whale. You can imagine how surprised I was that day in the quarry while I was looking for these and wound up finding this. But that's part of the fun of fossil hunting. You never know what you're going to find. Thanks for watching.